Hello everyone, in this video, we will create a home widget for total list. So for this widget, we will not use any package called home widget from pop the uh, The package home widget work fine, but you won't be able to customize the widget. So we will use some maple Kotlin code to update the widget data on home screen. So whenever the data is changed in our Turo application, it will reflect back to home widget via the native Kotlin code. Also, uh, I have already built this entire application few months ago, and also I have written a blog post about it, explaining the code and flow of this application. So instead of writing code line by line and recording it. I will just go through my blog post and we will copy paste the entire code. So in this video, we will like a quick overview and a quick implementation of my home widget of Fragger project. So make sure to visit this website, link is given in the description. Okay, so for storing our data locally, we use the package shared preference. And first of all, create project name widget node app. And this is our project structure. So we have to make two folder in this specific path. So we should go to that specific path and we should create these two folder. The first one is our layout folder and second one is the XML folder. So we can see we have to add a lot of file in our project structure. So we will add all this file later on. Now next let's go to the android manifest file. So this file declare the app main activity and widget provider. So we just simply copy paste the code under the application block in our android manifest file now next we go to our kotlin directory and in this directory the main activity dot kotlin file will already be there so we need to create other three file in this kotlin directory So the first one is the tax widget provider. The second one is tax remote view factory. And the third one is tax widget service. After it, the drawable contain XML file that define the custom background and shape so files like classy tax background and car background define beautiful gradient background and some rounded corner for widget and app card so after creating all file in our drawable directory we should head over to the layout part so this include the layout for widget and contain all the ui element of widget the card layout.xml file define how tax card are displayed and it uses the card background.xml file from drawable similarly the tax item and widget layout define how each tax and how widget are shown so at last, we go to the XML and we create tax widget info.xml file. This configure the widget property, layout, behavior, and it ensure that it behave as expected when added to user home screen. 
and it should interact with app properly. So the tax widget provider, this file manage lifecycle, handle update and sync widget. The tax widget service, connect the tax view factory widget to display list view dynamically. And main activity dot kotlin, this file handle the tax added, removed and saved using shared preference. So at last the tax remote view factory this file act as data provider for widget fetching and preparing tax data to be displayed. So the card background, this define the UI for card background, the classy tax background, define the classy and translucent effect for each added tax and the glassy widget also define or also create a translucent effect for our main home widget. So our card layout XML file define how tax card are displayed and it uses card background XML from drawable folder. The tax item define how each tax item is displayed uses the linear layout and it uses the glassy tax background.xml from drawable folder and the widget layout structure the widget using relative layout and it use the glassy widget background.xml from drawable folder which provide the translucent effect so at last tax widget info.xml it ensure that the home screen widget interact with app properly and it also point to widget layout under the layout directory which determine how widget UI will appear initially. So at last we copy the entire content of main.dat and paste it at this project. So it contain a simple UI for to do application where user is able to add tasks and by swiping the user is able to delete the added tax so overall our application is complete and it should interact with our home widget properly so let's run and see how will it work So that's it for this video. This video was a quick implementation of the home widget project. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing us. Mm -hmm.